All right, welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Point of View. Here on today's episode, I'm doing a quick review of a new movie I just recently watched. It is called No Exit. It was released on February 25th on Hulu, and this is brought to you by 20th Century Studios. And I'm just going to come right out and tell you guys, it's okay. It's, it's an okay thriller. You know, I'm not one to go out of my way to overly shit on films. I know how much hard work goes into making movies, and this isn't one where I feel like I need to go out of my way to shit all over. It is a decently, competently made film, and it's, it's solid for what it is. This is a thriller. This is a movie about a girl. Um, she's going through rehab. She's disconnected from her family. She finds out that her mother is uh, basically she suffered an aneurysm. She's in the hospital and she escapes her rehab in order to travel to go see her mother before you know she dies. She doesn't know what's going to happen to her. On the way, there's a snowstorm. She gets stranded at this rest area with a couple and with these two random men that are also there. And basically she goes outside trying to get bars of service on her phone and she discovers a little girl tied up in the back of a van. And the first portion of the film, she's uncertain um, whose van this is. Does it belong to the couple? Does it belong to the guy that was in there sleeping? Does it belong to the weirdo in the corner? And as it progresses, um, you know, you find out whose van it is. There's a few twists. Um, an extra twist towards the end that kind of pulls even more characters into it than you would have thought originally. Um, it's a solid film. You see some of it coming um, if you're really paying attention. It's not something that's going to blow you away with the twist or anything like that. But it is a competently made film. Um, the hard thing with movies like this where you're stuck in a particular setting and you know you have to create this reason why nobody can leave you have to create why don't cell phones work and this this does work as far as the setup the snowstorm works these people being stuck there um, just waiting out the storm the fact that there's no bars of service out here in the middle of nowhere it's all believable enough to create you know the setting for the film um, from there you know you do you can tell that they don't quite know where to go all the time. There's a whole scene where they end up outside looking for the little girl and I'm going to try not to dive into any real spoilers but you know you can tell there's certain aspects that are used to try to add some tension to the film but also they're there to try to pad out the time frame. This movie is only 90 minutes long and you know a film like this should probably only be about that uh, but that is usually what these films end up struggling with is they struggle to sustain even that full 90 minute runtime because it's a small setting. It's hard to keep the characters there. It's hard to keep them doing things and keep it interesting. You know, it gets to the point where it's like, okay, why don't the bad guys just shoot these people and peace out? Um, but they do a competent job of keeping them in the location, keeping the story moving. The story never really slows down too much. It is well paced to a degree. Um, if I was to give the pacing, you know, a rating out of 10, I would say it's about a 6 out of 10. It's, it's decent. It's solid. Um, you know, if you're looking for a decent thriller to sit down and watch with your wife or your husband or whoever and just kind of enjoy something that you don't have to think too much, you just get to kick back on the couch and just, you know, enjoy a film that you're going to forget afterwards, this is that movie. It, it's a solid movie. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. The acting is pretty solid across the board, a little campy in some parts with uh, some of the main actors in the villain roles, um, but the girl of the lead, I think she does a pretty good job for what she's given. She's not given a ton to work with, but she does play it to the best of her abilities. I thought she was solid. She was probably the highlight of the whole film. The little girl, you don't, she doesn't grate on you. She doesn't drive you nuts. She's pretty solid as well. Nothing amazing though. So overall, I would say this is a movie, have a beer, sit back, watch with your loved one, and you're going to forget about it afterwards. So that's about all I'll dive into. Like I said, don't want to get into anything spoiler. If you want to check this movie out yourself, it is available right now on Hulu. Um, and that's it. So please, everybody, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
That is the biggest thing I need right now is to continue with the subscribers. We've gotten a ton of new subscribers this past month, and I hope to continue growing the channel. So I appreciate every one of you that has subscribed so far, and I appreciate every one of you that decides to hit that subscription button going forward. And until next time, I will see you guys on the next episode of Jeremy's Point of View.